What's good, people? You know who this is. And if you don't, let me remind you, this is Triple Crown Dawn. You're watching Triple Crown Dawn Vision. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're on Limitless right now. I got to hit up the boy, the king, the boss, the big man. Please step in the building and let people know that you're around. What's good, gang? From here, the voice needs to the face. You don't know. It's the boy king is in the building, man. And we're back with another Limitless podcast. It doesn't know people, straight vibes, a lot of energy. Always I'm clueless, but it's a spicy podcast. If you guys are new to this channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notification bell to see the Firebone post in the posts. And as usual, if you guys are returning subscribers, you know what we do. Alright, Triple Crown Dan, what's going on, bro? Having a wardrobe malfunction, as you can see. <laughs> um, first off, before we go any further, let's have a little random debate right now. We were sure. just having a discussion, guys, and I'm going to bring this to the camera, let you see what we really talk about behind the scenes. This is BTS footage right here, BTS live. So... Do you believe it's more important to have defense or offense when playing sports or in life? What is more important, offense or defense? I mean, I'll give you um, what's more important to me. You know, it's really a to each his own <laughs> answer. Um, for me, because I like to... Um, yes, Mr. Diplomatic. You give me I don't wanna, a diplomat answer. <laughs> I don't want to say I play it safe all the time. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm a protector. You know what I'm saying? Like, I protect. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I do. I protect my loved ones. I protect the people I care about. You know what I mean? So I think I'm more of a, def a defense type of person. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like playing defense is a big role. And every family needs one of those. But that doesn't mean that yo can't do the offensive shit because I'm a I'm a hustler, you know what I mean? I'm a I'm a go getter. I'm a taker, you know what I mean? But when I say take, I mean like if I want it, I get it, I go for it. You know what I mean? But if I think in my life or my life situation, you know what I mean, I'm more of a defensive type of person. So it, it's really a two each his own answer. But what about you? Honestly, I've been defense first from day one, and I'm gonna be defense until there's a reason for me to not play defense. But to each his own, as the king just said. And for me, it's a little bit more tricky. I would go by situation, you know? Depending on the situation, I feel, obviously it's a natural gut instinct to just defend first, but you can't defend everything True. that's the trick the thing is you get to a certain point and you start to realize you can't defend everything and that leads us to the next part of this podcast which is freedom of speech sometimes you have to let things pass you can't always try to defend everything you stand by me being an artist myself guess what I gotta have a thick skin. Why? Because I'm gonna make a song that maybe the ladies don't like. I'm gonna make a song that maybe the fellas don't like. I'm gonna make a song that maybe nobody likes. I'm gonna make a song everybody likes. Guess what? Everybody always has an opinion about something they don't necessarily understand. Let me repeat that. Everybody has an opinion about something that they don't necessarily understand. Because guess what? If they understand it, they don't have an opinion about it. Think about that. What's there to be opinionated about? If you already understand the concept, you're not going to question it. True. Right? So that leads me to this next artist that I'm going to talk about. You ever heard of J. Cole? J. Cole. Of course I heard about J. Cole. That's my dog. Oh, yeah? Is that so? I remember the last podcast. I gave you a riddle, and you couldn't figure out the man I said I dreads. I told you this man but I, said but, everything. And you still... But you think about it, though. 
Okay. You know what I mean? I messed up when you said his name started with J. But when you said dreads, you got to think about the rap game, bro. They all have dreads. You know what I'm saying? They all have dread. I said he turned dread. I didn't say he had dread. I said he turned dread. See, they all turned dread. Here we go. This man. All right. All right. If you don't know, I'm about to tell you. J. Cole has a new album out right now. Did you know that? You know what? I knew. I just haven't got to it yet because a lot of people drop albums today. May 14. Nicki Minaj also dropped her album today. Big up yourself, Nicki Minaj. That's a big album. You threw me under the bus. Yeah, I'm I saying. That. I got to plug it in, though. Nicki Minaj, big up yourself. Love the album. You know what I mean? I, you're one of the people that get to check out the album that dropped today. That was dope. I like what you did with Crocodile T with Skilly Bang. I love that track. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite tracks by Skilly Bang. So I love the fact that you put that um, on the album. You know what I'm saying? So enough respect to that. Big up Alkaline Street from Jamaica. Alkaline also dropped an album today. I checked that out. Alka Alkaline album, obviously. Fire. You guys check it out. Top prize. Back to J. Cole. I haven't checked out his album yet, but I'm going to get right to it. Right to it. All right? So, what's going on with J. Cole? You check the album? Unbelievable. This man threw me for a loop. I Yo, I thought I had this whole thing covered, and this man just... Naming lists upon lists. I'm just like, yo. But you gotta understand that, yo. You know, Akalani is one of my favorite artists. So is Nicki Minaj. And J. Cole. I'm on top, man. Like, I'm on top of my th on top of my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. But I gotta check it out though. I haven't I haven't had enough time today to to get to um because the, the thing with me is it's like I'm going to get back to what you were saying. The thing with me is, whenever I download an album, right? Like, if I'm not listening to it in my car, like, I feel like I don't get the the real feel for the music. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I drove, I, I went to Toronto earlier today. And um, and on my way there, I got the chance to listen to um, Alkaline's album. And on my way back, I got the chance to listen to uh, Nicki Minaj's album. So... But J. Cole, I won't be able to listen to your album until tomorrow because unfortunately I don't like to listen from headphones or from my computer or from my phone. I gotta hear that shit in the car, bro. Triple Crown Dan, let's get back to it. Okay, okay, see? BTS, you get to know a little bit more about King Evie and his stylings and how he's profiling. <laughs> All jokes aside, um... You know what? <coughs> I feel like I was reading this review and they go into depth saying that J. Cole is a part of the big three of his generation. Do you believe that's true? And do you know who the other two members are? I'm going to quiz you. I'm going to quiz you, G. I think Kendrick is one. J. Cole. There's another rapper, man. I don't know who the, the third person there's is. More. But there's a rapper, bro. Like, I think... Yo, whenever I hear that guy spit, like, and I think he's going to be, give him the next two, three years, bro, that guy's going to be lit. He's, he was a part of, um, shit, what's that group called, man? Young Money Cash Money? No, YB something. I don't remember his name. Yeah, YC, it, that's, that's Young, that's Cash Money still. No, man, oh, he's dating that tennis girl. Card, card, card. I don't want to pronounce oh. his name wrong. You know oh, what I'm talking about? Oh. Yeah, Corday. 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 Corday back, is fire, that guy. I'm telling you. But let's get back to your, your big three. So, um, Kendrick, J. Cole. No, 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 no. We're not getting back. We're going to jump back and forth. Corday, that man, he is the future of rap. That guy, I've been listening to him. He made a song with her. The bars that he put in the song, Racks. I, I used to listen to the song just for his bars and his ad libs. The man can sing, he can rap. I didn't even realize it was him singing in her song. And I mean her meaning literally, her name is her. Just to remind you guys. He was literally singing in her song. Yeah. He's dope. Like he is lit. Like I think like I said, he's al he's he's already on top of his shit, but I know in the next year or two, bro, you can't stop it. 
No way you can stop. He him. knows it. He knows it. He knows he's in his own zone, and people are talking nothing but critical acclaim and good press for the G. I mean, if I ever got to work with somebody like that, man, I feel honestly, I'd rather work with somebody like him than somebody else that you might expect me to want to work with because I like his vibe. I like how chill he is. He knows he's good, but he doesn't run around and throw it in your face and be like, oh, I'm better than you. He could, but he's not. Him and Joyner Lucas, those two guys, I feel like they're going to be going at it at each other eventually. Like, I don't know, though. I feel like the pace. I feel like Joyner put his foot in his mouth too much. He's good. You know what I mean? He's good. I just feel like he's his own, his own downfall. You know what I'm saying? And he's really good. I just feel like, yo, he's his own downfall. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to stir up some pot. I'm going to talk some shit a little bit. So, um, get some trouble. So, who wouldn't you work with? <laughs> I would not want to work with anyone because I don't know people's temperaments. I don't know people's personality and character traits. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to sit down and research to read and hear, oh, he's a bad guy to work with. I don't care. To me, an opportunity is an opportunity. If I go in front of the man and I see for myself, then I can judge and say, oh, you know what? I wouldn't work with him again. I can't tell you. I don't like to take people's whatever hey. and be like, you know what? That's Yo, a he's a bad person. Maybe he's bad to work with you because he doesn't like you. I don't know if he would like me or not. That's what a... if we work and we're good, right? You know, you know what I like with you? You know what I like about you? You ain't fucking up your money for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Being a rapper and all. You know, I like your answers. They're pretty safe. Pretty safe answers. Like, you know me. I will get straight to it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be cutting throats and shit. But I, I like it, man. Anyways, man. Let's get back to um the big three. Um, Guess who the third member is? No clue. Blueface. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, don't fool around like this, G. <laughs> You know who the third member is, man. Don't make me even look at you like that, man. You know. You you know. You know. I, t hey, man. I, um, 20, 2021 surprised me a lot. So I don't even know, to be honest with you. Come on, man. He just was given Artist of the Decade. You know. You know. Artist of the Decade. Yeah. Don't fuck with me right now. Tell me it's not us. <laughs> <laughs> That was hilarious. I'm looking at that. That was really funny. No, man. I'm going to pull your leg and say Nas. And no, it's not Jay-Z. That's all I'm going to say to you. Drizzy? Yes. Yeah. I see that. God. I see He's that. the third member of the elusive and exclusive club. Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole. But you see, what Drake is like Audi... And J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar are like Mercedes Benz and BMW. Why? Because Audi is in the upper echelon but doesn't directly compete with the other two. They're luxury. But nobody ever says, oh, Audi's here to battle BMW. No. Audi's you know what it is? I would say they're equal. They're all, Drake. they're all equally good. It's just that they're in different lanes. Like I said to you, bro, the moment I see um, Drake crossed over into like speaking Arabic and singing in Patois. Bro, not a lot of rappers can convert into Patois. There's very few that can do that. And Drake did that. And Drake is a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky guy. Sneaky guy. I saw... Anyway, I ain't gonna get into that. You know what I'm saying? But I rate you for that, though. I rate you for that. But, yeah. Big three. Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drizzy. Yeah, I see it. I see it. And... I was also reading about, you know, how this might be one of his most cohesive efforts yet. And he's alluding to him in the future retiring very shortly as he's had battles with people like Little Yahtzee in the past and making shots and taking comments and and this is where that little thing I was telling you about comes in, G, with the fact of he's more loose here. He's more free here. He doesn't really seem like he's 
holding back or he's tight or he feels like he has to hold anything back. I feel like he's just free. He doesn't care if you love it or not. He's going to put it out. And it's like he's not worried about a label coming down on him saying, hey, you shouldn't have said that. No, no, no. Don't do that. None of that. It just seems like he's at that equilibrium point where he's like, you know what? I'm going to retire soon anyways. So you know what? All y'all. I don't care. That's what it looks like to me. Like where he's reached that point where it doesn't really matter to him anymore. Yeah. Which is a dangerous place to be because it's like a basketball player who is slightly less athletic but much smarter and sharper in the mind. So he uses his athletic gifts only when he needs it and kills you mentally all game long. Like Dennis Rodman. He knew how to do whatever he want, but he just, oh, I'm going to target him. I'm going to grab his butt. I know he hates that. Go and grab his butt. Take him off the game. You're like, oh, why are you touching my You're not paying attention. So he knows, okay, I got you now. Now I can do whatever I want. That's where I feel like J. Cole is at right now. He's like in his zone with this record where he's like, you know what? I can do whatever I want. So, you know what? Hey, let's do it. Who cares? And he he's not going to be as, uh, I guess you could say, forgiving or understanding. He will always um, be careful about how he crafts his music, how he tailors his music, all those things. But he doesn't seem to be in that point where he's concerned with much anymore. He looks like he's thinking like a chess player and he's 10 steps ahead. He's already a checkmate, but he just didn't get there yet. He already knows who's gonna do what and how he's gonna do it, but he's just methodically stepping along, doing his thing. That's what I get from this. No, you're right. You're right. I just thought I just thought about it a while ago. But yeah, he's he's different, you know, like he can tell already tell that like he's focused, bro. He's focused and he's not letting none of these little materialistic shit. You know what I'm saying? Like let him lose his his you know, like distract him. You know what I mean? Yeah, so He's good, you know what I mean? Like, even if he step away, yo, that man can always return. Because you could, there would never be another him. Never. As good, as good as Kendrick is, and I do think Kendrick is a little bit better, right? Kendrick, yeah. You, 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 you still can't be a J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I said earlier, you know, they're, in, they're probably on the same level, if not very close, right? But they're in their own It's like LeBron lengths. James and Kevin Durant. Kevin's better though. <laughs> yo, you know me, man. Yo, I say it how it is. I say it. I say it how it is. That doesn't mean LeBron James ain't a great basketball player. He is a king. You know what I'm saying? But it's a to each his own eight answer. Eight straight and... NBA Finals. Eight straight for two franchises. That's unheard of. The man put on a Cleveland Cavaliers uniform and just kept going to the finals. Didn't even matter to him. Eight straight finals, ten finals in his career, five with Cleveland. People forget his 07 appearance. Then he did four with Miami, then another four back to back with Cleveland, and one more with the Lakers where he won his fourth championship. Ten, if I'm counting correctly, because eight then plus the two. Ten finals appearances. But he has a shitty record though. Four and ten. Jordan went six and six. And Kawhi is two for two. Kawhi only been to the finals twice? Yeah. Spurs once and Raptors once. And won. He's never lost in the finals. But Danny Green is better then. Danny Green did it three times. Say something. Say something. Anyways, yo, we ain't gonna touch that basketball NBA topic, you know what I mean? Save that for another <laughs> day. Um, yeah, we'll save that. Congrats, J. Cole. Um, Triple Crown Dance of the album was lit. I haven't heard it yet, but I'm gonna get right to it. You know what I'm saying? And not that I forgot, I meant to. Like I said, 
if I'm not hearing in my car, it just doesn't sound right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna close this up. Any final words? Um, I feel like I said a lot, but um, as a little OD, the track listing is 12 tracks long. He has some interesting titles. He has 21 Savage on there, so that shows who he respects. Boz, his own label mate. Boz is amazing. I love his song, Too High to Write. If you don't ever listen to Too High to Write, you don't like music. That song is fire. He just tells the truth. That's like my anthem when I wake up in the morning. I'm just like, you know what? I'm too high to ride. Too you gotta, <laughs> you gotta listen to. Um, I'm sure you heard it. Um, 1985. Yeah. That was something. That was something. That was yeah. no joke. Yeah. Little babies on there. See, he's basically showing the people he thinks are the future. In my opinion, 21 Savage, Little Baby. Everybody knows Little Baby is dangerous. Even the game put him on his list as a hitman little baby and that's it he only has his label mate boss on three tracks believe it or not little baby and 21 savage that's it nobody else made his records Anyways, y'all, um, yeah, bless the Trooper Crown Dan, that was a fireball topic, man, um, you know, our respect and everything goes out to J. Cole, um, happy we get to talk about, you know, King J. Cole on this podcast today, and say, um, congrats to you dropping your album May 14, congrats to Nicki Minaj as well, and congrats to Alkali, yes, thank you guys for tuning in to another Limitless Podcast. Like and subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post notification bell. Smash that like button. I did say like already, didn't I? Smash it again. Yeah. Keep on smashing it. Love it. Boom. Um. Yeah. And you don't know if you guys are returning subscribers. What we do over here. Yeah. We're done. Done. Okay. I just like to say peace and respect to everybody out there. Um, I hope you have a really good evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're going to be viewing this. I hope you enjoyed this fire topic. Expect more from us. And remember, if you do remember and you've been watching and following us, I was wearing glasses for a reason. So be on the lookout for what that reason is going to be. It's still up in the air. It's still a mystery. But that fire boom announcement is coming and don't worry we're not going to do the dr dre and keep telling you albums coming and it never comes <laughs> yeah. this announcement is big it's so big i don't know how many episodes we're gonna have but um this is a big 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 event you know so stay tuned guys i'm excited can't wait for you to see this big surprise but until then you know who this is you know who that is you know who we are you know what we do and we are